Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today in this video we will practically demonstrate you with example about what is extraction, isolation, purification and identification process. In the last lecture video we have discussed about the introductory part of the extraction, isolation, purification and the identification process. The link of that video is given in the description box. So, to understand all this process, we have taken live example of extraction, isolation, purification and identification of caffeine from tea leaves. So, let's start the experiment. As I have already told you in the last lecture video that if we want to separate the desired chemical constituents, desired chemical constituents means the constituents, chemicals which we require or you can see the chemical constituents which have therapeutic effect. So if you want to separate the desired chemical constituents from any crude drug or you can say plant material, we have to perform the extraction process. Extraction is the first step to separate the desired chemical constituents from the crude drug or the plant material. There are different methods of extraction, traditional method, modern method of extraction, in the traditional method like decoction, maceration, percolation, infusion and different modern method of extraction discussed in our lecture videos. And here for the extraction of the caffeine from tea leaves, we have applied decoction method. In the decoction method, powder drug is directly boiled with the solvent for few minutes. So here we have taken tea leaves in a beaker and then added sufficient quantity of water and then mix it and then boil it. During this extraction process, the solvent penetrate into the solid matrix means plant material. Here we have taken water as a solvent. So when we boil the tea leaves with the water, the water penetrate inside the plant material means tea leaves means water penetrate inside the plant cell and dissolve the caffeine present inside the cell. And along with the caffeine, other chemical constituents which is also soluble in water will also get dissolved in water and then this solvent containing the caffeine and other chemical constituents will diffuse out from the tea leaves means plant cell. And after the completion of the extraction process, we have to remove the plant residue. And for this we will perform the filtration process. We have to discard the plant residue present on the filter paper and then collect the filtrate. This is called extract and because this extract is prepared by using water as a solvent that's why this extract is called aqueous extract or you can say aqueous extract of tea leaves. So this aqueous extract of the tea leaves consists of caffeine along with the other dissolved chemical constituents of the tea leaves like tannin and other coloring pigments. But our desired chemical constituents is only caffeine because caffeine shows therapeutic effect means it is CNS stimulant. So from this extract which contain mixture of chemical constituents we have to separate only caffeine. And this process of separation of the desired chemical constituents from the extract is called isolation. So next step is the isolation and the purification of the caffeine from the prepared tea aqueous extract. So different methods like physical or chemical methods are used for the isolation of the chemical constituents. And in the physical method, chromatography is one of the most widely used method for the isolation of the chemical constituents. But here, for the isolation of the caffeine from tea extract, we are performing the solvent partitioning method. In the solvent partitioning method, two immiscible liquids are used. So here, one liquid is the aqueous extract of the tea and other liquid means solvent used is dichloromethane or chloroform. So here the aqueous extract and the dichloromethane means the two immiscible layer appear in the separating funnel. The lower layer is of the dichloromethane. Here we have taken dichloromethane as a solvent because caffeine is highly soluble in dichloromethane than in the cold water or we can say aqueous phase. So when we shake the separating funnel like this then the caffeine solubilizes in the dichloromethane layer which gets separated as a lower layer on standing. So in this way we have to repeat the treatment of aqueous phase containing caffeine with dichloromethane. And in this way, maximum amount of the caffeine gets solubilizes and comes into the dichloromethane layer from the aqueous layer. 
Now collect the lower layer of dichloromethane containing caffeine in it. Now to obtain the caffeine we have to evaporate the dichloromethane. For this transfer the dichloromethane layer into the evaporating dish and keep it aside at room temperature and after the complete evaporation of the dichloromethane you can see here in the petri dish white needle shaped crystal of caffeine. So in this way we can obtain the caffeine from the tea leaves by performing the extraction and the isolation procedure. But this caffeine is still impure means consists of the small amount of the impurities of other chemical constituents means unwanted chemical constituents is present in this caffeine. So this caffeine is still not pure. So to get the pure caffeine we have to perform the purification method. We can perform different purification method. Chromatography is also one of the method by which we can purify the substance. Here by the recrystallization method we can purify our crude caffeine to get pure caffeine. Next is the identification process. Identification means we have to identify or confirm that the substance which we have isolated. Here we have isolated caffeine from the tea leaves is caffeine or not. We can identify the substance by performing either the chemical identification test or by the chromatographic technique. Caffeine is a purine alkaloid or you can say it is a xanthine type of alkaloid. And specific test for the identification of the purine alkaloid is murexide test. So by performing the murexide test on your sample you will observe purple color which confirm that our isolated substance is caffeine and the other method which we can perform for the identification is the thin layer chromatography in short TLC which is one of the chromatographic method. So in the thin layer chromatography as the name indicates that in this method we coat thin uniform layer of the adsorbent over the glass plate or aluminium plate. Here we have taken adsorbent as silica gel G. This layer is called stationary phase and other phase involved in the chromatographic technique is called mobile phase which is a solvent or a mixture of solvent prepared by mixing the solvent in definite proportion. Mobile phase means moving phase which moves in a specific direction over the stationary phase. So for the identification by the thin layer chromatography first we have to activate this plate in oven. So to identify the caffeine in our sample we require standard caffeine and we have to prepare the solution of both test sample of caffeine and the standard caffeine solution. And in this activated plate we have to spot very small amount of the standard caffeine solution over the plate with the help of pointed tip capillary tube. Next we have to spot the caffeine solution which we have isolated from the tea leaves we have prepared the test caffeine solution and then spot to the side of the standard caffeine spot at a proper distance. After spotting and then drying the spot transfer this TLC plate in the TLC chamber which is also called as developing chamber. This chamber is saturated with the mobile phase and then transfer the TLC plate inside the developing chamber to develop it. And when the solvent means mobile phase moves in the upward direction over the TLC plate means through the stationary phase the isolated caffeine means test caffeine and the standard caffeine will also move in the upward direction along with the solvent. And when the solvent runs at a specific distance over the plate remove the TLC plate from the chamber keep it aside to dry and after this in order to visualize the spot of a standard caffeine and the sample spot caffeine we have to spray the visualizing agent. After spraying the visualizing agent you can clearly see here that the dark brown spot of a standard caffeine on the right side and at the same distance you can see the another dark brown spot of the test caffeine. Then we have to calculate the RF value of this both spots. RF value is the retardation factor and which is calculated by dividing the distance traveled by the solute divided by the distance traveled by the solvent. We have to calculate the RF value of both spots and after calculating the RF value we have to compare the RF value of the standard spot means standard caffeine with the RF value of the sample spot means test sample caffeine. 
So in this way, by the thin layer chromatography, we can identify the drug in any sample by comparing its RF value with the standard drug's RF value. So this is all about the extraction, isolation, purification and the identification method. We have already uploaded both the practical video and the lecture video of the extraction, isolation of the caffeine from the tea leaves and also uploaded the practical video in detail about the preparation of the TLC plates and its activation and also the identification of the caffeine by the TLC means thin layer chromatography with calculation. All these videos are available in both English and Hindi language. Thank you very much for watching this video.